Keurig Strata makes it really easy for you to work with data. First of all, you can access data from almost anywhere, whether that's an Excel file on your PC, a text file on the shared corporate network, a table from your Oracle or MySQL system, or even HTML tables or CSV files or RSS feeds directly from the web. Secondly, once you have the data and want to start analyzing it, Strata is like a hot knife through butter. You've got all the standard tools at your fingertips and then some. But the difference is Strata packages everything into a really easy interface that makes working with data a pleasure. Whether you're a business analyst, a database guru, a researcher, or just someone who regularly finds themselves confronted by piles of data, bottom line, Strata helps you get your work done faster. So to show you what I'm talking about, let's walk through an example. Let's say we have a customer support call center where each call is logged and recorded in a MySQL database. With Strata, if given the appropriate rights, we can access and work with this data directly. We simply log in and up pops a connection to the database. We'll open up the call log table and then we can see that we've got the date and the phone number and the duration of the call. And we can work with this table directly, but for now I'm just going to make a copy of the table to my project. And as an aside, if I were also connected to another database system, I could just as easily drag and copy a table in there as well. So let's go ahead and play with this data just a bit. Strata gives us all kinds of options for working with our data. For instance, we could check the data structure and edit the types, or we could filter the data set to show us just the calls made on April 3rd, or we could skip through the filtered set to find each call that took longer than 10 minutes, or better yet, we could just sort the field to see the longest calls. Or we could take this table and group all the dates together to figure out the total number of minutes for each date. And here we have the total minutes and the number of calls. And then we could calculate the average call time if we wanted. We just take the total call volume and divide it by the number of calls. And we can sort to see the shortest call time. And then say we wanted to take these two eight minute calls and copy them to their own table. And so forth. Whether you've got hundreds of records or millions of records, Strata gives you all the flexibility and speed you need to get things done efficiently. All right, now for the sake of curiosity, what if we wanted to find out what part of the country these calls came from? We don't have any address data here. However, we do have an area code that's embedded in that phone number. So to figure this out, all we'd need is a list that matched up area codes with related state names. And fortunately, after a bit of searching, I was able to bookmark a website with this information both the area code along with its related region. Even though it's locked up in an HTML table, I'll just go ahead and import it. So let's take a look at these two data sets. The plan is to somehow get the state information from the website into my call log. And from there, I'll just create a quick report. I'm going to use a relationship to bring this data together, but first, I need to make sure I've got similar fields in the two tables, in this case, the area code. So I'll use a calculated field to extract it from the original phone number. So normally, I would just need the three leftmost numbers to pull out the area code. However, by doing this, I see that I've got some dirty data here. The phone number is not consistent. So I'll get a little more creative. First, I'll look at the leftmost number to see if it equals 1. And then I'll create an if statement. Basically, if the left number is 1, then show me the second through fourth numbers. Otherwise, show me the first through third numbers. Great. Now that I've got my area code, we can relate these two tables together. First, I'm going to save my web table locally to my project. And then we'll open up the relationship panel and link these two tables together using the area code field that we just created. And now that the two tables are related, we can do a couple different things. First, we can visually filter on the related records. As I click on the parent table, I see the related records in the child table. Now the more important thing here is that we want to bring that region field up to my main table. So what we'll do is simply open up the field list and drag it up there. And just like that, each phone number in our call log is now associated with a U.S. state. Now to finish this exercise off, we're just going to create a quick report showing the calls per state. To do this, I'll just select the fields I'm interested in and create a new report. And it pops a simple report. Now to make this a little more interesting, I'm just going to group on the state and then we'll be all set. To do this, we'll just toggle over to the report design view. And you can see that if I change things in this template, the layout updates automatically, and vice versa. So now we're going to quickly add a group to the report. 
we'll open the report settings and then we're going to add the state as the main group and then we're going to want to sort our detail rows by date. And then we'll go ahead and remove the unnecessary headers from the template. Now the group header appears in the report so we're just going to drag in the state from the field list and then we'll take a peek. And as desired we see the phone calls broken out by state and then sorted by date. However, it's not very pretty so let's do some formatting. So we'll add an extra space under the header and then we'll make it bold and then we'll center our page headers and make those bold too and finally we'll just write justify our phone number. And we'll take a look. Not bad, let's just add some color to help the group stand out. So we'll go ahead and make that blue and then we'll toggle back to the layout view. And there it is. In a few minutes we took a table from a MySQL database, combined it with a data set from the web, did some data gymnastics and created a report which you can either print or distribute as a PDF. So that was a whirlwind overview of Strata. Unfortunately, we didn't get to cover fun things like queries, data bookmarks, or even our scripting language, which uses the JavaScript syntax. But hopefully this provides you an idea of what a data browser is really all about. Providing access to all kinds of data, providing the ability to integrate these different data sets together on the fly, and providing the analytical tools to get your work done more efficiently. Well, that's about it for this screencast, so go ahead and download a free trial of Curic Strata from our website, try it out, and let us know what you think. Thanks.